Have a great time and uh, we look forward to seeing you back in Delhi on the 17th. Come soon. After waiting for 35 years since the last visit, Shimla prepared to receive its Lord again on the 15th of April, 2010. After the 1970s, Shimla had faced a sort of drought in terms of the divine visits. On one occasion when Swami had been invited to a metro city in India, he had replied, Why should I come there? Do good work and that alone will attract me there. The grand welcome and outpouring of devotion was just the final enticement Shimla had arranged for the divine visit. His love for them and their love for him had not changed a bit, but there were a lot of other changes. While it was a convoy of 20 cars following him during the 1975 visit, this time it was more than a hundred cars. The devotees had toiled hard, engaged in seva, and had built a residential school which imparted free education based on human values. A temple dedicated to Lord Ganesha had also been built, and the elephant-faced Lord seemed to have cleared all obstacles that stood in the way of the divine visit. The journey included a drive past the chief minister's residence too. There seemed to be devotees and devotees everywhere, the little towns along the way had come to a total standstill to catch a glimpse of Swami. After 40 minutes of weaving in and out of hills and valleys, the archway at Anand Vilas welcomed Swami. It was a moment for which Anand Vilas had waited two years since its completion in 2008 for the inauguration at the Divine Hands. The governor of the state, Miss Urmila Singh, was also present with a bouquet at the entrance. Bhagavan entered the five-story complex via the back door, which opens into the first floor of the building.
Since it was nearly 1 p.m., Baba received arati and retired even as thousands gathered on the ridge at Anand Villa's front entrance pining for a glimpse. After lunch, the genial Professor Anil Kumar expressed his joy and wonder at the people's devotion. <laughs> Swami just smiled and blessed the pining hundreds with his darshan. God's delays are never his denials. There was an air of excited anticipation in the evening as thousands gathered for the darshan and bhajan session. It was 5.50 p.m. when Swami arrived down the lift. The Chief Minister of Himachal Pradesh, Sri Prem Kumar Dumal, had also come to pay his respects to Baba. Purishwar Baba The magnificent Anand Vilas building appeared like a fantasy structure straight out of Disneyland. On closer examination though, one realized that it symbolized the unity of all religions. The second floor of this building had a large hall with a warm decor to be used as an interview room. The third floor had the dining hall and the kitchen. The fourth floor had rooms for guests and Swami's kitchen. The top floor was Swami's room.
तुमने बनाए In an instance one realized why Swami had not made a visit all these years. The crowds that would gather to see him would be so huge that they needed a specially built space which could accommodate them. That is the secret to inviting Swami, whether it is to our towns, our homes or our hearts. One has to be prepared for expansion to accommodate everyone for all belong to God. It was 6.30 p.m. when Swami received Arati.
The evening turned out to be a special bonanza for the students and staff who had accompanied Bhagavan from Puttaparthi. Swami blessed them with an opportunity to sing for him. What followed was nearly an hour of devotional rendering. The night was lit up by the beautiful and multicolored lights on the outside and by the soulful singing from within.
Though the Karnatic song, Shiva Shankari, was a long one, Swami sat through it almost spellbound. magical moments came towards the end as the song built up into a crescendo before the ultimate climax which brought the memorable evening to a close. Mm-hmm. 